So welcome back to another video. My name is Nicholas and this is Eating the African. We are back in Owino Market, one of the biggest food market you're going to find in Africa. Okay, in Uganda. If, because if I say Africa, most of you are going to oppose it. Let me say Uganda. So this is the first dish you are going to enjoy. Uh, it's a mix of cassava, matoke, and then some small bitter berries and uh, slices of tomatoes. This is the first one you are going to enjoy. Then later, there's plenty, there's plenty you are going to have along this market. So keep along until the end. <laughs> so a lot is happening behind the camera. The sentences are being prepared, which are you which are going to enjoy later. But let us have the first dish, then we go to our, there's plenty of foods in this market. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are going to just walk, walk through, we eat whatever we find along the way, whatever that fits in our budget, until the end of the video. So when you see this video has ended, just know that is where our budget has ended. <laughs> mm. But I'm not going to finish all these foods because yes, there's still plenty to eat from. This plate is going to cost around uh, 2,500 Ugandan shillings, which is uh, which cents. I'll put that on the screen so that you can see. So we're having matoke, uh, that is yellow bananas, uh, green bananas, uh, then cassava, and uh, then small bitter berries, then a the slice of slices of tomatoes. Just to flavor this up, I came in late, but also they add greens on this. I just got bit, bit, uh, <laughs> hope you can see what is on this plate. Hmm. Ah. First one is done. Let's go find where we're going to find our next dish, the second dish. So don't go anywhere. Keep watching until the end. Again, this is a window market, one of the largest food markets you're going to find in Uganda. It's not only, it's not only about food, but also this could be one stop center, one shopping stop center. Because everything you need in Uganda, you're going to find it in this market. Even if you want food from northern Uganda, food from western Uganda, food from east, you're going to find it in a window market. So let's go to our second place and see what they have for us. So don't go anywhere. Keep watching. The second place is this is where they do they this is where they make pancakes from. I think this looks so delicious. Ah, okay. Let us test them also as we go to another place. Okay. So these are these, these three pancakes are going to cost you 500 Ugandan shillings. 500 Ugandan shillings. Imagine, so cheap, so affordable, so fresh. Mm. Straight from the source. So let's go to another place. <laughs> mm. And also, we came at a very busy time where everyone is so busy, and people nowadays are becoming more resistant to the cameras. They don't want to be filmed. They don't want to be seen. They think you're going to report them, and everyone is like, "Are you going to report us to the police or to the KCC or what?" But which is not the case. But when they see you moving around, like eating from one place to another, they become more comfortable, and maybe some will let you. Hey, first wait. Then others will let you come into their place and eat from there. But is there anything you want to say? Is there anything you want to say? Wanji? I'm from supporting him and I'm giving more information about the place. Wherever they knew. Okay, so we are going to go to another place. This is my balance. So let's go check out other places. Yeah, sometimes we get resistance from people. Over day, I spoke to these people. Waka Jawan. Waka Jawan. Yeah, sometimes you need to be so hard. Yeah? You need to be so hard with these people. <laughs> but let's go to a different place. Yeah, nowadays we are becoming more hard. Yeah? <laughs> so let's go, let's go, let's go. So this is the second place we have visited. Uh, we are going to have uh, one of the local dishes we have seen. Uh, maybe this time we are going to have beans. Then we go to another place and we see what we are going to have from there. So. 
keep along until the end. So find the word Jula. Today we are not going to eat a lot because I don't want to waste the food. But also what uh, also I share with it behind the camera, which I don't want to show you because people don't want to be seen, but they want to be part of the dish. <laughs> so let's eat and go to a different place. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Okay. So today, today we are not, we don't want to waste any food. Okay. So we're going to go sit somewhere there. We eat our our lunch, then we go to a different place. So this is going to cost you five thousand Ugandan shillings. They can give you more, but I wanted to get uh, this portion because I don't want to mess up the food. But if you come here, you want the full plate. It's going to be. It's going to be a lot of food which you cannot finish. So let's go eat, sit and eat. I know most of you are going to be shocked that I am having the most. This is a think the most least food. Eh? <laughs> it is so little, but we still have so many places to go. Just that I don't want to waste the food. But let, let us eat, let us eat, let us ho hope you're enjoying, you're getting the prices. This is going to cost you 5,000 Ugandan shillings. It can be more than this, but I, I wanted to get, this time I don't want to mess up, mess up the food. I just want to eat what I can finish, then, then I go to a, a different place. I don't, I don't want to sit in one place and then eat all the foods. I want to give you different options, different places where you can go and eat. So let us dive into this. This time I'm using the fork because I don't want to, uh, it is hard to find, I don't want to be washing my hands all the time. That's why I decided to use a fork this time for the first time. Hope it's going to be the last time. <laughs> Okay, don't just watch, uh, share your thoughts in the comment section because I need to know from your side what do you think about Owino market, or Owino food, hmm? Ugandan food in general, what do you think about it? Hmm? When you look at it, what comes into your mind? Oh. Hmm. I'm finding it so hard to move through the market because people don't want to be seen, people don't want to see the camera. I think some, something fishy is behind it, but let us just eat. I think that is it. Let's go to a different place. Oh. But thank you so much for keeping yourself on eating the African way. Thank you so much for being part of this journey, part of this video. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what I can do next, where I can go. Mm. Share your thoughts. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Okay, that is it. You know why I always enjoy the, these street foods, all these market foods? They are always fresh, so affordable. Hmm? So fresh and so affordable. Rather than going to those, like I don't want to mention it, but these are the best 
places where you can go and enjoy our local dish and you get the right flavors because they are so fresh. Fresh is the, fresh is the key word. So let's go to a different place. But thank you so much for watching. Don't go anywhere until the end. <laughs> Kabaya <laughs> Era kana akatale kamanyi nyo kufenga abantu era tukaganu bwamu. Baba bagambi okutuse tulamu baba baina kutegeza anga buchali. Baka na akatale kola bakanene nyo Musa atendala ekacha sinzo obunene. Musa endala kana akatale kafeka nene ateka kulu ateka gazi. Kwa veri mu kisoto ne tuddeno tegera. Kati akatale kafeka no kamanyi nyo kali mwe kula kulana. Buliano nye chokulia yena Aja wano Na chifunaona de waka Uli nakana katale kafe kamanyi Batu ndengege, batu ndengoye Batu ndenyama Kalibu lipati meti nyingi Tuina neri Upaka ya dinayo Katale kagazi kanene Ero mtu wali muno mungi Tedia inza Umwe nkana mbutala atebu lala Uli nakana Uli nakana This is the first time I'm feeling any serious because all everything I planned, I've done nothing because I'm I'm facing out of opposition from people don't want to be seen in a camera. I think there's something behind which they don't want to see and also I don't want to know because if I film, I I, I record all that that will come back to me. But in this market, if you want. If you want to be peace with the authorities, you first go to the, to the office, the market master, you request for permission. I even have to sit down, write a letter to the market master. Then after I went to the police, reported myself. Then they give you someone who can take you around the market. Or you talk to that person, then you can be freely walk around. You get like uh, people around the market, talk to them. Then that would be it. But if you come here, you don't ask for permission, you end up, in, you end up being arrested. Ah, oh, oh. Okay, this is going to cost you 1,000 Ugandan shillings. I'll put that on a screen so that you can get the right price. I needed something to pull off the heat, the stress, and all the disappointments. <laughs> hmm. And what, and and I'm going to miss out most of our food because the first feed I did from this place, I think I recorded most of the foods. So I'm trying to move around to show what has changed and also record some of the foods I missed out. But of course I'm going to sit somewhere else and then eat and record the video. Yeah, I think we can now continue. <laughs> These are cow hoppers, animal hoppers. I just wanted to get it with rice and then some greens. So this is going to cost you around uh, 3,000 Ugandan shillings. 3,000 Ugandan shillings. But the food can be more than this. Just that I wanted to get uh, just the little food I can eat. But the, the food is always more than more than this. More than this, as you have seen, as you have been watching in other videos. So from here, we're going to go to, to the last place where we're, going to end, where we're going to end the video from. I wanted to make it longer, like one hour or 15 minutes or 30, but people don't want to be seen in the camera. So let me just eat, then we close this. But thank you so much for keeping yourself for eating the African way. So let's eat. <laughs> oh, mama nyabo, mama anze.
Okay, behind me there's a lady. I think she has something different which might be interesting for you to watch. It's called the Nkolongo. I don't know the English name, but let me show you. So this is what she's having. Nkolongo. Hakuwa kaita bati yako? Nkolongo. So this is what she's having. Some, something different. Maybe I would want to try it. But next time. Mm. <laughs> and also this gentleman is having several punyes. She will do it. So what, what he had is a fish cooked with a peanut, brown nuts. And also our local food. I'm seeing yams. Uh, pumpkin and also other local foods rice is not a local food yet. it is almost everywhere so how was the food number <laughs> the food is okay everyone is uh, what best food <laughs> okay so everyone is so happy to, uh, to be part of this market, to come and enjoy the food. I think this is always a great time where you can, where you can find different people uh, with different ideas and different tastes. Hmm? On the same table having different dishes. Ah, I think that is one of the best feelings you can have. As we always say, made in Uganda. Food, there is a way food brings people together. From people from different society, you find yourself on the same table enjoying the food. This is the beauty of food. Yeah? <laughs> okay, okay. So if you're watching this video, someone behind the camera wants a muzungu with money. If you're a muzungu watching this video, I'm going to show you the lady. She wants a muzungu who has money. If you're poor, don't come. <laughs> she wants a muzungu who has money. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So much to talk about Africa. Talk about Gamera's house, national parks. I'm not too many of them. There is life in this market. If you find people are comfortable with you, you're going to enjoy. You're going to pull up the best video. You're going to have the best, the best moment in this, in this market. Just that they are so busy. And what what is always happening in the market, I think, scares them away from the camera. When when they say camera, a lot runs into their mind. Sometimes I don't blame them. I just say, okay, let me go to another person. So it, it is always uh, what is, what happens. Uh, in our in our absence, I think makes them get the negative side when they see the camera. Let us and go to a different place. Mm. Just watch. I write down something you share. Share your thoughts in the comment section because I always want to hear from you. Don't just watch. Sometimes I'm, we are having so many views and we are having less comments. I know most of you are watching these videos uh, via television, but get time, get a phone, drop the comment because I need to hear from you. Hmm? We always encourage us, our uh, content creators, when we get feedback from from our families who are watch our videos. We, all, we are always encouraged. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Madam. 
<laughs> okay, that is it for, from this place. So let's go to the sec to the last place before we close the video. Ooh. going to bring us to the end of this video we're going to have a uh, fish boiled fish and then uh, pumpkin just pumpkin and fish that's going to be the end of the video Today we want to be different because we have seen most of the food we have seen almost everything we have in Uganda when it comes to food so let us have a twist of it just something different so that you can eat fish with pumpkin or fish with rice alone most of you think we it is a must we have to eat all the foods no some don't like the foods others like so to them, I'm, I'm, I'm not being picky, but I'm trying to be like, do something different, different. So let us, let us, let us go to the, this is going to be the last part of the video. Please share with us a comment section. Let me, let me know what I can do next before we leave this earth. <laughs> So this is what we are going to have, fish and then a pumpkin. So this is going to be the end of the video. So don't go anywhere. Keep watching until the end. Okay. Hmm. Let us have our last dish. Then we close the video. Just simple as it is. Today we are not making things complicated. We, we are just eating what we can. Hmm? Not what we can, but something, at least something different. Yeah. I think most of you are being shocked. <laughs> so let's eat and then we go. So this is going to cost you around 8,000 Ugandan shillings. Hmm, it's a lot of money. <laughs> I, I, some of you used to say Ugandan can survive on one dollar, but nowadays I think one dollar, no one can survive on that. It's so less, so little. But let us eat and then we close the video. Woo! With a glass of orange juice. Some of you might call it lemon, lemonade. I don't know if that is right, but... Let us do this in style. Let's eat so after here i have to go play soccer I'm, I'm actually late i'm supposed to be on my way to the play to the prep ground but i'll try my best i'll try my best mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Alinzi je wa pa java nkoze bubi. Mm. Alinzi je wa fe. Ojava nkoze bubi nyo. But this, there's something that is confusing me. If I, if I speak, if I talk a lot, some of you complain. If I don't talk, you complain. Now I don't know what to say because some, most of the times I'm so confused. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep quiet, I don't know if I'm supposed to talk. Sometimes if I don't say anything or if I speak less, you think I'm sick, you think something is wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I need to get I need to get your thoughts on that. Let me let, let me know, let me understand. Mm. I 
Awanyize. <laughs> ah, fuck has refused. Fuck has refused. Let, let us. Just do it the the natural way, the African way. Oh, oh my goodness. Mm. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to miss out soccer, so I'm going to pack this. After soccer, I'll continue, not with a video, but with my food. So this is going to be the end. Let us end here, please, allow me to end here. I don't want to miss soccer because I've been eating a lot, and I have to go and lose weight, I have to go and maintain my body. Hmm? <laughs> but I have to go and maintain my body. So, we are frozen this here. Yeah, thank you so much for being part of it. Thank you so much for being part of my life, my journey. Don't just watch, drop a comment. If, if I did something wrong in this video, please let me know. Be open, don't give out anything. Because next time it gives, me, it gives me room to make things right. So, bye bye. See you in the next video. Bye bye. We have groundnut stew. Stew made from peanuts, meats, tomatoes, and onions. We have cassava bread. Bread made from the flour from the statue root of the cassava plant. Mm. Or crust stew. Stew made from the vegetable, often referred to as lettuce fingers. <laughs> oh, how I love Africa. A beautiful continent. A lot of food to mention but a few. Ugali, Sukuma Wiki, 